tell them what they can expect when they visit? It's honestly a great experience when you walk in. Um, we are a smaller space, but like I typically tell visitors, we have a lot of information to learn about within our tiny little space. Um, you can be in there for hours, maybe even days, with all the information that you could potentially learn. It's a great experience overall. And what are you guys offering during Black History Month? Whew, a plethora of many <laughs> events. <laughs> um, of course, due to COVID last year, um, there was a lot of restrictions, but this year we have a lot of different events, whether they're adult events, family events, and children events. Um, tomorrow actually starts our first event, which is a presentation given by our very own um, colleague, Dr. James Ponzo. He'll be doing a presentation on Frederick Douglass and his specific impact within Western New York. Mm -hmm. um, and that's one of many events. We even have collaborations with uh, Michigan Street, African American Heritage, Heritage Corridor, Explore More, and so many others as well. That's wonderful. I know some of these stories are just so moving. Mm -hmm. What kind of reaction have you received from people who come and visit and learn something new? They run to the desk. <laughs> <laughs> they literally run to the desk. Um, I've had so many different individuals, whether they were born and raised here in the United States or even abroad. Um, I myself have learned that education really differs throughout the United States. Um, you'll be surprised with how many people um, come up and expect that we're going into tunnels or don't know what the Underground Road is um, and so much more. Many people are blown aback by the fact that Harriet Tubman walked, you know, just feet away from where our Heritage Center is located, um, as well as the Cataract House Hotel that one existed in downtown Niagara Falls. So there is a lot of information that really blows people away once they um, visit our center. And, and tell me about that. I mean, Harriet Tubman walking just miles from, in this, in this region, mm -hmm. other huge names, they have, you know, have paved ways right here in Western New York. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, of course. Um, not only Harriet Tubman, but there's also our focus at the, the Ni Niagara Falls Underground Road Heritage Center. I'm sorry, it's a mouthful. Yeah, it gets is, it every yeah. time. Um, is to really highlight the smaller, you know, heroes, not the household names that we yeah. often hear about because it's not just Harriet Tubman and Frederick Douglass and so many other amazing individuals who existed in history, but there's also your individuals like um, James Patterson, where he worked at the hotel, um, and he was able to own his own hotel after 15 years, which is great. Um, there's also John Morrison, who was the head and lead waiter to the Cataract House, who was also known um, to help liberate other freedom seekers and assist them into Canada as well. So there's so many other smaller names that really do matter within our history. So much to learn. Uh, what are the hours of the Heritage Center for people who want to visit this week? We are open 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, Thursday through Sunday, but that's also because of winter hours. So of course, once we defrost a bit here <laughs> in Western New York, um, our hours will shift back to um, Tuesday through Sunday. All right. Mm -hmm. Kiara Santiago, thank you so much.